Okay, so the first step is to go to the KDP cover template generator, generate your cover template to download so you can use it in Canva. So in order to find that page, we'll search for KDP cover templates, and it's that one, paperback cover templates, Amazon KDP. And in order to get the template for your book, you need to know three things. You need to know what trim size it is. We're going to go for five by eight. You need to know how many pages. If you haven't got the page count, no point in creating the cover. And you need to decide between white, cream and color for your paper color. 99 times out of 100, that will be white. Up here, you might want to choose six by nine, which is another common small paperback size. And if you're doing larger, low content books, maybe 8.5 by 11 that's letter size in the US similar to A4 elsewhere but I'm going to go for the smallest paperback size and 100 page count and we'll download the cover template so when you do that you'll get a zip and you unzip it when you unzip it you get two files a PDF and a PNG and both of them show you the whole of the cover with the front and the back page and the spine down the middle this is what you use as a template to build your paperback book cover now you need to get the overall size to do this and there are several ways of finding out that size either in pixels or inches or even in centimeters. On the Mac I can go command I which is get info and here you see the pixel dimensions and in a PC you can right click and select properties and then details and you'll find the pixel dimensions of the PNG. And you can open the PDF in Acrobat Reader. And then under File Properties, you can see the page size in inches there. So however you do it, you need that information when you go to Canva. So I've logged in with my free Canva account and I go create a design here and custom dimensions. And here I can enter in the pixel dimensions or the inch dimensions that I get from the KDP cover template that we just downloaded. So let's take it from the PDF because it's easier. So it's 10.48 by 8.25. That will open a new tab on your browser, giving you a canvas on which to design your book cover. The first thing we're going to do is upload the PNG that we downloaded at KDP just to check we've got the size right. So we click on Uploads and then click that button, Upload an Image, and we'll select the PNG. There it is coming in. All you have to do is click on it once and then it will put it on the pasteboard. Now you can just resize it by pulling out one of the corners there and it resizes in proportion and it covers exactly the correct size of the template that we have set up in our custom dimensions. So we're all good. So one of the things we can do straight off the bat is to put some spine text, which is one of the most difficult things. So we'll do that. Let's zoom in a little bit and go to text to get the spine text. And I'm going to click add a bit of body text because it's going to be quite small. And then it just puts a generic bit of body text. It's actually quite big. It's 24 point. So you want to type in your spine title and select it all. As I say, it's very big. Your spine text can be very small. It can be eight point, no problem. I'd also make it bold. Then we will rotate it, of course, by 90 degrees and then we'll move it right into the middle. Now I'm going to zoom in even more now. Actually, I'm going to put it down to seven point or even six point. And there you see that all of the title, none of it hits the red bars. I'll put the zoom back into fit and you can see the red bars there. No text or anything important should go in those red bars. However, you can see what you need to do is to design your front cover there and your back cover if you're going to do one there. Don't put any text over this yellow barcode location because obviously there's barcodes going to be there. So let's design the front cover because what's important is that you need to get everything centered between here and here. The edge of the red bar here and the edge of the red bar here. That's all you've got to do. So let's do that. Let's add our book title. So book title and we'll put that here. So in order to get that centered correctly, let's just drag those side lines over to the edge of the red there. 
So we know that's going to be centered once the book is printed. And likewise, let's do the author name. That's nicely come in in the same way. So we'll just put author name name there. Drag that down a bit. That is actually snapping to be centered to that very usefully. Canva is doing that for me. I can put that down quite far. And then in the middle here, you'd want some sort of image. So let's go to photos. I mean, obviously, you've got to use your own images. They've got, you've either got to buy them from a stock photo library or make very sure that they're in the public domain and they are free for commercial use. But I'm just going to use a free one from Canva just for purposes of this video. So we'll pretend that that's our book cover. And then if you wanted to put text on the back, just go to text again in Canva. Let's use that body text there and let's drag it over from there. I'll just get some lorem ipsum. So if you go to lipsum.com, you can get this text if you really want it. It's used as kind of dummy text and you put it in there. Let's increase that. Again, we're just increasing the size of the text box to be equidistant between these two red bars and we're going to arrange left and make it a bit smaller of course 14 point would be fine then of course the last thing you will do once you've zoomed in and zoomed out and checked everything and checked the spelling and of course you've got to delete the actual template you don't want that on the book cover so you just select it and just use the delete button on your computer that's how you delete things off canva so that is it if you wanted to you could go back to uploads get the template again stretch it out to cover the whole of the pasteboard check things again select it again delete it again and you can do that continuously so you're absolutely sure that every element on your cover is in exactly the right place so last thing to do of course go up here and download select pdf print high quality don't check that because we have the bleed on it and we don't need crop marks so we just download that pdf and you can upload that at kdp and that will go on the cover of your paperback book on amazon anytime someone buys your book that pdf will be used to print the cover in one of Amazon's facilities and the book will be sent out to the customer. I hope you enjoyed that video. My name's Rob Cubbon. If you want to know more about book publishing on Amazon, whether you're publishing your own non-fiction books or low content books, I have some free courses and courses available about that. The links are in the description under the video.